In the past couple of years, Taiwan's relations with the United States and Japan have been strengthened. In, in addition, Australia, Lithuania, uh, the Czech Republic, Slovenia have all shown their friendship towards Taiwan. They have spoken out for Taiwan on the world stage. They have also made legislative proposals in support of Taiwan joining the WHA, the World Health Assembly. And also an international diving association saw many countries take down their flags in solidarity with Taiwan. So we see many friends of Taiwan throughout the world standing up for Taiwan. Taiwan has freedom of religion, democracy, and we have a virtuous cycle of these positive values. This alliance of democracies has shown that Taiwan is also an important part of the world. Taiwan has always had a very strong um, resilience and determination to fight the pandemic and also to protect ourselves. In terms of global security, in terms of Japan, U.S., Australia, and their security alliance, Taiwan, the, the, the safety in the Taiwan Strait has been a focal point for many, many uh, safe security packs throughout the world. If anything, I don't know if that's why, why she got elected, but it can't hurt, right? It can't hurt. Right? <laughs> oh, so you're half Haku. I am half Haku on my dad's side. Then you can run for office too. I'm just <laughs> Uh, <laughs> theoretically, yes, but I can't speak a lick of Hakka. My dad speaks to his brothers in Hakka. So there are, uh, this, I guess there are 60 people in this choir. Look at um, the costumes, I love it. Everyone, every single costume has a different design and such vivid colors. It's very distinct. Right? Definitely. I love it. Uh, and uh, there's 16 different indigenous groups in this, in this choir. And this is just a lot of children back. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this, this is, is wonderful. A, this is a. Um, it's focused on children, apparently. Yeah, we also had a national Hakka children's choir perform um, mm. the national anthem. That's right. We, we cut also, in a little early. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, I think it's just the um, the way that the ceremony ran. But it's great to hear that beautiful song again with indigenous elements. Yeah. So we'll be bringing you uh, President Tsai Ing-wen's speech coming up next. The theme of her speech is forging a stronger consensus, standing united to protect Taiwan. And we have the, uh, the sign language translators over there, which we've become very familiar with because we see them every day during COVID-19 uh, press briefings. There is President Tsai coming um, on the stage. And Yoshi Quinn's next to her, and to her right, or to our right, is David Lee. He's a national security advisor. There's lots of people. About a thousand um, overseas Taiwanese came to join the National Day celebrations this year. Usually about 6,000 come, mm -hmm. but due to the pandemic, uh, a little bit fewer than usual. They got to scale it down. And if you see President Tsai's wearing a pin, for the first year they made a, a National Day pin with the really? double 10 day logo. And they come in gold and silver apparently. And uh, which one you get well, for these people at the celebrations is 50 50. All right, so let me bring you President Tsai's speech as, they, as the armed forces salute the head of state. So we have
have a lot of special performances uh, during our national day. We have a group of street dancers called TBC, or the Best Crew. Also, the military's honor guard and the joint military will be performing. Um, there's a Chinese Taipei Gymnastics Association that will be performing, and also w We Are Demonstration Team, which combines Taekwondo and street dance. A lot of great performances coming up during the parade today. And of course, all of the heroes um, from the pandemic to uh, you know military, military workers, police workers, uh, firefighters, and our athletes will all be um, a part of the parade. That's right. And this is the end of the official ceremony. Then we have the celebrations coming up. We have parades, and then we have demonstrations from uh, the Air Corps, police forces, fire departments, coast guards. Uh, did I say Air Force? Air Force, ground troops, they're all coming in. And then we also have, a, uh, Taiwan has, I guess it's an acrobatic um, air, like an Air Force Tiger, uh, the, Thunder Tigers? The, air, the, the Thunder Tiger, uh, oh, I forgot what they're called. It's like a squadron. Also, we're going to see an over 200 uh, special vehicle motorcade oh, yeah. featuring uh, vehicles from uh, different government departments. So that should be really cool. I saw some of the Coast Guard uh, boats right near RTI, actually, the other day. On, uh, on our street. On the street. Yeah. Okay, so they were just trucking them through. I saw the, um, you know, when we were getting ready for the broadcast, I took a moment because in the morning they had the Taipei, the Taipei Symphony Orchestra or the Taiwan Symphony Orchestra playing on the observation deck of That's the Taipei right. 101. First time they were playing on the 91st floor of the tallest building in Taiwan, so that was very special. We also saw the...